Let's try and welcome to Zedam Astrology. This is giving you a brighter day with Vedic Astrology to guide you over the sea of life. This is your general predictions Earth trying for 2023. As a reminder, you are Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. Right, Earth trying. This is your predictions for 2023. And this is your chart that came out on the position of the stars and the planet, as we call them, as of January 1, 2023. As I've indicated, Saturn, I am looking at the slow-moving planets. Saturn is moving from Capricorn into Aquarius on the 17th of January, 2023. Jupiter is moving into Aries around the 22nd of April 2023. Rahu is coming to Pisces and Ketu is going to Virgo around the end of October 2023. So those are the slow moving planets. We also have Sun moving into Capricorn around the same time that Saturn is moving into Aquarius. So these are the movements and the planets that are going to impact you long term because we have the short term planets like Mars, Venus, Mercury, Sun and obviously Moon that we take into consideration when we are doing our transits. But I'm looking at predictions on the long term effects that they are going to have for the Earth trine for 2023. And Saturn is moving into, as I said, Aquarius. And when he is there, he's going to have a third aspect on Aries, a seventh aspect on Leo, and a tenth aspect on Scorpio. So for the ascendants, the various ascendants that we have in this uh, Earth trine, this is what it's going to be like. So for Th Taurus ascendant, we have here, uh, Saturn is going to aspect or being or look at your 12th, 4th and 7th Bavas or houses. For the Virgo Ascendant, Saturn is going to look at the 3rd, 8th and 12th. And for Capricorn, he's going to look at the 4th, 8th and the 11th. And what does that mean for us? As you can see, you have some synergies here. The 8th to the 8th, the 4th to the 4th and the 12th to the 12th and do you understand that the synergies work and they are all linked because Taurus is linked to the 12th house to Virgo's 12th house Capricorn is linked by the 8th house to Virgo therefore Capricorn is also linked to Taurus here the synergies are working and this is where I you know, base my trying concept on, and you can always look at my video on this. So then we have the third, the seventh, and the eleventh here that stands alone for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And this tells us that we may want to focus on those things, you know, the pleasures, Taurus, that you want to be, you know, pleasurable. You feel that Venus is there in in Capricorn so that you want to have a good time you want to lie with your friends you know you want to have a chat with them you want to network you want to form relationships because Venus is there in Capricorn but here what Tom Earth trying Saturn is telling you hold up hold up because your fourth your eighth and your twelfth house are what he is um aspecting and he's gonna you know delay things in those houses the fourth house is about family your comforts your mother the eighth house is about sudden changes you know it's about um a cult it's about the dark side of the moon um dark magic it's about losses it's about expenditure so he's going to put a little delay on those things for you because those are the houses that have come up twice in the trine, in, in the earth trine, as I've just shown you, you know. And you 
as Venus is here in Cap in Capricorn, you want to focus on the pleasures, on the on the cultural aspects, on on enjoying yourself, on on having a good time, you know. And it's there, it's there for you to do that because Venus is here. But then Pluto is also still in Capricorn, and Pluto is the god of the underworld, where he rebels, where he does things, you know, on his own time in his own way. So Venus is there, Pluto is there. But they are in Saturn's domain. And Saturn is saying, I am telling you that I'm holding back a little bit because I am moving into um, Aquarius on the 17th of January. I am also going retrograde from the 17th of June to the 4th of November. So that between January and June, I am holding up on the changes on the sudden transformations that you may have to go through on the losses i'm asking you to look at your expenditure so i want you to focus on these things so that when these changes and transformation comes when pluto say okay i want to rebel a little bit and i want to you know do what i want to do then saturn is saying okay they're going to have their chance to do that but i am also going to give you a chance to fix it so when I am retrograde in from June to November, you will have that chance to do those things. And if you didn't prepare enough for the first six months, then you are going to get that do over so that at the end of the day, it is coming. It's going to be delayed. Saturn is giving you a breather. He's giving you a room to think, to plan, to understand that changes are coming, transformations are coming to you, some kind of financial losses probably when your movement because it's also saying that you know you should be moving to foreign lands you might have some kind of um career uh because remember uh saturn for taurus is uh yoga karaka because he is the ruler of the ninth and the tenth house but you know depending as i always say your mahadasha is more important or it's more important than transits and what is the Mahadasha Taurus is now going through you know that will tell a lot as to what is going to be impacted so that while Saturn is your yoga karaka the parakesh or the obstacle planet also comes within Aquarius so when Saturn moves into Aquarius as the Barakesh Lord and the Barakesh planet he is going to create some obstacles for you in that 10th house and he's saying I'm going to hold back those obstacles for the first six months I'm giving you a chance to do what you have to do until June then I'm going to give you a chance to do it over again until November so you know you have all the time in the world to fix what you have to fix with your career with your profession with your work your routine but because changes are coming um, you might want to you utilize Venus to have those pleasures in life those beauty and and you know the finer things in life but Saturn is telling you Changes are coming to your comfort. Transformation is coming. Some losses that you might have to lose to gain. Because, you know, sometimes when we lose, we get a new beginning. So that this is the lessons that Saturn is, is giving you. Saturn is telling you, listen, heads up for you. I am your Amatya Karaka, the beginning of the year. I have come in on a Saturday, Lord Shani rules. Because we are starting off with discipline we are starting off with focus we are starting off with doing charitable work for the masses we don't want to think about ourselves we want to think about what is coming and how we can plan for it so this is the message and the and the predictions for you uh taurus it's a different kind of predictions i'm not prediction predicting that you're going to gain wealth or you're going to get a ceo job you know that's all in the hands of karma and your mahadasha and what karma you have built and what you have earned i can only tell you what the stars are showing the position of saturn and his potential impact on your bhavas as we have learned from the sanskrit text so this is my you know very practical very 
very down to earth my predictions it's not all about the fantastical illusions that Rahu may bring and you know we have to be a little concerned about that because Satabishak um, Rahu is going to be uh, giving Saturn some energies there in Satabishak Nakshatra when Saturn moves into Aquarius because Saturn is going to be in Satabishak Nakshatra around the uh, 14th or so of March and you know, that is something that we have to look at and see what healing is coming away. What what are the hundred eyes that we have to look at to see where we have these transformation coming? Because the transformation might very well affect Venus in terms of the finer things in life. You know, that, that luxurious car or the house. So if it is that we have to do anything, you know, for our luxuries not to be affected we have to put things in place then we have january to june to do it saturn has given us his heads up he has shown us this is the aspect that i am going to aspect the third seventh and eleventh you may think about it you might want to to party but saturn is telling you four eight and twelve houses is what i'm going to focus on because these are the things i want you to fix these are the things that I want you to learn. So look at those houses. See what you have to do. Plan, plan and plan. Earth Trine, these are your predictions. Bhagwan's blessings to you. And I hope that we have learned something. We have listened to the message coming through for Earth Trine, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. Thank you for listening and I hope something new and exciting enters your thoughts and enables your dream. Be safe, happy and healthy. Until we meet again, see you next time.